Small business hiring slowing for the fifth consecutive month, but it's in part due to the shortage of available applicants. Joining us now for a check on employment ahead of Friday's job report, Marty Musi, chairman and CEO uh, of Paychex. Marty, we are introing this as if uh, it's, it's continuing to be a supply issue. Are you seeing any cracks at all uh, in demand? And, and the reason I say that, uh, uh, you, you know, even though unemployment uh, claims were, were really low, they've started ticking up a little. Are, are you seeing the beginning, maybe not on an absolute level, but has the, the second derivative changed? Uh, is it slowing a little bit, would you say? You, you know, not really, Joe. We're seeing job postings up tremendously, you know, uh, postings. So people, particularly in leisure and hospitality, that's where the big number is, right? We're down about a million three in employment since, you know, to pre-pandemic levels. And uh, where you're seeing transportation jobs up, warehousing jobs up, professional jobs up. But the postings for leisure and hospitality, for example, are way up. And you're seeing people continue to, businesses continue to be very flexible, offering more benefits for part-time workers, higher wages. And you're starting to see the states be a little creative, like New Jersey, starting to allow 16 and 17-year-olds just passed the bill now that they can work up to 50 hours a week and they streamline the work papers progress. If you remember how it was to get your work papers, it's much faster now. So they're trying to help feed that supply. Okay, so the, what we're trying to get at is whether you know, these, these two consecutive quarters of, of negative GDP, whether that's really indicating a slowdown, people say it's not because of the employment picture. So the employment picture seems more important than ever. Friday is an important number. You don't think at this point that you're seeing weakness in employment, which would confirm the, the people that say we're in a recession. You don't think that's evident? No, no, not seeing it at all. And, you know, even though job growth decelerated kind of across the country, it's still strongest in the southern states where the people are, you know, Texas and Florida, Georgia, North Carolina. Those are the strong uh, places, Dallas and Houston from a city perspective. But no, we're seeing just trying to find the people for these jobs, particularly, again, in leisure and hospitality. That's yep. the tough part. Wage, uh, wages have slowed, the, the gains that we're seeing have slowed, or but from, from pretty strong levels. Yeah, pretty strong levels, still over 5%. And, you know, if you look at different sectors, uh, they're close to seven. Other services, that sector, job sector, is around 7% wage increase. You know, leisure and hospitality, over 6%. So while it slowed and decelerated a little bit this month, Really, uh, wage increases have been solidly over 5%. You know, just a couple of years ago, just 18 months ago, it was about 2.5% wage increases. So it's gone up very quickly as people have needed to pay it to find people. Do you think Friday's number uh, will, be, will be strong? Do you expect the participation rate? Will that inch higher because uh, the, it's the demand is so strong for people. To, will they come back into it with the inducements that you've described from employer? You know, Joe, we haven't seen that yet, right? Participation rate still down about 1%, around 62%, down from 63 pre-pandemic. I don't think we're going to see that necessarily move. Uh, I don't. I think savings rates are still coming down from the stimulus money. Uh, inflation's out there certainly bothering people right now, but we're still not seeing necessarily more people come back to the market to fill this supply that's needed. Uh, you know, I think the jobs number is going to be pretty consistently strong with the last few months, but I don't think it's going to be a really huge number or anything that's going to be a big change. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.